I can't wait to put makeup on today. I am really excited because Unearthly Cosmetics sent over some products. Namely, especially, there was the Dreamer collection. I believe this was from their holiday collection, 2023. This came with their palette, eyeshadow palette, highlighter palette, and some lipsticks. So I think I'm mostly gonna be playing with this collection and palette. Um, they did send over a couple other things as well, which is the Fairy Frolic, which my mom has, and I've borrowed it from her, and I love it. It's such a autumnal scene going on here. And then their Strawberry Milkshake palette. So these are definitely on the agenda to potentially play with another time, or I don't know, maybe I'll change direction throughout my makeup today. But here's the Dreamer palette. It's, I think, perfect for winter. It's January right now, and it's, gosh, it's a hard time of year. It's depressing. So, yeah, doing a little bit of color therapy today, and, yeah, gonna delve into sort of, like, pinky purples, I think. Yeah, use some lip products from them as well. Unearthly is a really cool brand. Definitely a little bit witchy, so they have that going for them. Cruelty-free, vegan, all great things, so... It's also an indie brand, so great thing to support. I'm gonna do a full face today on camera. I just feel like going through the whole rigmarole, kind of making this a little bit of a get ready with me. Maybe chat about makeup a little bit and because this channel is newer to me, I've been mostly on Instagram before this. I thought I might talk a little bit while I work and give a tutorial, but also chat a little bit about like makeup and why I like it and why I've decided to share it with people. So yeah, very kind of casual conversation today. Feel free to comment below if anything resonates with you or yeah. Before getting into Unearthly, let's lay a base down. I recently shaved my face with like one of those little razors. I do that sometimes. It's kind of can irritate my skin a bit, but it makes makeup apply so much better. So it's worth it for me. I'm gonna color correct first with Charlotte Tilbury. I always do this, even on no makeup days, it's just really necessary for me. Mostly just like all around the eye area. It really just like gets so discolored. So this is a get ready for me, but I'm getting ready for staying inside after and doing work, yay. So this is a nice treat just to take some time out of the day and prioritize myself and makeup. I'm using the NARS soft matte on my eyes today. I really wanna have a nice prepped bright base. So I'm just going right in for that right now. <laughs> you can really see just like what concealer does. Just my eyes look so pristine and then the rest is like, help me. This is the NARS Natural Radiant in the shade Mont Blanc. Uh, this is a foundation I love the finish of at first and it's really sort of easy to apply, but then throughout the day, it's not as long wearing as some of my faves. But I don't know, it's been very dry out lately, so I think this will be a good choice. Yeah, so speaking of makeup and just like this idea of taking time out of the day to do it, uh, yeah, that's just namely one thing among many of like why I like makeup so much. It's such a ritual and frankly, I think in this day and age we need rituals more. Just like times where we can like take a step back from like the hustle and bustle of this really, really fast paced world we're in, it actually gets you away from like screens you know you're not on your phone you're not watching netflix although sometimes some of my favorite times to do makeup is when i have like a favorite well well watched movie in the background and then i'm doing my makeup and really taking my time with it that that can be really fun but yeah it's just like everything's so rushed these days everything's so fast paced like all my jobs it just feels like there's no room for like there to be a week where there's like a pause or like 
let's just take it easy this week. You know, it's just like everything is like go, 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 go. And so when I don't have time in the day to really sit down with makeup, I feel it. Like I feel that sense of disconnect from myself and I'm just like mad. I hate when I'm rushed with makeup. Like I like to take my time with it. So yeah, that's a huge reason why I like it on like a personal level. I really like doing it early, earlier in the day if I can, of course. It's the same with like getting dressed. And I think in the pandemic, a lot of us felt this like when you were like in your pajamas all day. Sometimes you would go from your like sleeping pajamas to your house pajamas, but it's just like that act of like moving from one space to another, like metaphorically, like from like sleep and laziness to like, I am putting energy into my self, into my body, and I'm like raising my vibe. I feel like getting dressed, doing makeup, all has that effect. So that's even things out a good amount. With these like more dewy sort of radiant foundations, which you can't so much tell right now, but it does have somewhat of a radiant finish. If I, if I layer too much of it, that's when I start to feel the effects of it not lasting as long. So I'm just gonna go into concealer right now instead of another layer of foundation. And this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked. This is a really brightening concealer, so. Yeah, I'm just going to go a little bit ham with it. The trend in the past while has been to be really minimal with concealer. I don't know. Sometimes I'm in the mood for just like whacking it on. Places on my face where I have both like a need to like brighten but also cover up a little bit. So yeah. On all my channels like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, I have the saying makeup is magic. Probably a lot of you have already figured out like I, I like to lean into a lot of witchy things, witchy vibes, witchy looks, you know what I mean? Because, uh, well for one, because makeup is magical for me. It is witchy, not just for me, for everyone. It's literally like transformation. It's literally like using tools and potions to transform on a physical level, but also on a spiritual, emotional, mental level. Okay, time for some contour bronzing action. Going to contour a bit with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour stick in Fawn, and then I have the Rare Beauty cream bronzer in Bright Side. This one, the Rare Beauty packs a punch. I have to be a bit mindful. My new technique for like contouring my chin has been a very, very thin line. Eek. Kind of continuing where my jaw doesn't jaw. <laughs> and then a, a little bit here. Whoop. Whoop. Sometimes I'm like, does this do anything? Is this helping me? And then a dense brush to like blend it. Going in with one of the Spectrum KJH brushes. It's a little bit fluffy right into the bronzer stick. A lot of people do like to go right onto the face, but then I find there's just so much more blending involved. So I go right into the stick from with the brush. Start to shape the perimeters. So makeup, while transformative and fun and colorful, like I think it gets such a bad rep for some reason because of like beauty standards and making women in particular feel like they have to subscribe to certain notions of beauty. And while yes, I do feel more beautiful with makeup, like I also feel more beautiful when I'm wearing a nice outfit, when my hair, when I have a good hair day. I don't know, like it can really just like elevate you, your mood, as long as you like it. I don't see the trouble with it. A lot of people, women, a lot of women don't wear makeup and it's totally fine. Like it's not societally taboo. If anything, like wearing a lot of makeup is like sometimes more frowned upon. For brows, I've been going back to 
this Benefit pencil. It's like, um, okay, it's the Give Me Brow Volumizing Pencil. So it has a bit of a powdery finish to it. This one actually matches my brow shade, unlike when I have, um, try and tint them with eyeshadow, kind of auburny. So I can be a bit messier with this. For blush, I'm gonna go into the Ritual Defi Inner Glow Cream Pigment in Lovesick. I think this will go well, hopefully, with the lip from Unearthly I'm planning. And it's a fairly neutral shade, so. So pretty. Blush is when I feel the look has come together and everything in life is worth living. I know that's dramatic. I just love like that color, that flush of color. It's so romantic. And yeah, back to makeup and its meaning. Like makeup is so beautiful to me. And like, I don't, I think beauty in general gets a bad rep as well as makeup because of beauty standards, which yes, can be highly problematic. But beauty in and of itself is, well, for one thing, entirely subjective. I'm gonna do this makeup look and somebody's gonna be like, that is ugly. I do not like that. But I like it. I think it's beautiful. It brings me joy and it elevates me. And this world needs more beauty. And makeup for me, for me, is part of that. Everything is so ugly these days. Like by everything I mean like products and buildings and in particular, where I live, I rant about this all the time, but in Toronto, we have this really modge podge hodgepodge architecture around with like, everything was made with like a utilitarian purpose in mind rather than like any sort of ounce of like aesthetic. And honestly, especially in winter when there's no plant life around you, you feel it. It it reflects onto you. It does on me anyway. Like beauty is an important aspect of being alive to me. I think of things like a meadow and nature and, you know, sunsets. As cheesy as that is, as cheesy as that is, those things like bring me a sense of, of purpose in life. I think sharing beauty is like a bit underrated in a way because beauty standards take over what beauty is. And I hope that made sense. I hope that's resonating with anybody. But I'm just here to like be a creative person and try and resist capitalism a little bit in finding ritual, finding empowerment, doing things that I love. I mean, already that's kind of resisting capitalism, right? I'm just powdering around here. I think this has mascara on it, but uh, that's okay. There's almost like a little bit of guilt when I speak to people like about this idea of like actually pursuing what I'm doing right now as a career because it feels like people think it's trivial. And I imagine anybody watching right now doesn't feel that way. Yeah, makeup, makeup is sometimes more than just makeup, you know? Okay, now to go in to something from Unearthly. I'm gonna use the highlighter palette, the Dreamer highlighter palette, and I'm thinking of leaning into the pinky shade. Hopefully it's not too dark on my complexion, but I think it'll be okay. Just going in with the brush, sometimes tapping it off a bit. Yeah, not too dark, that's really pretty. It's like, it's subtle in a nice way. Like though it has like little sparkles in it, it's so finely milled rather than like big chunks. Like I was complaining about the Vive highlighter in my last video, which has a couple of big chunks flying around. I wanna do lips first so that I can, cause most of the lips I got were on the darker side so that I can make sure I'm like balancing the look well. I'm gonna start with the liner from Unearthly. This is the shade Bad Blood. Since it's a bit more of a red, and I want to keep this a little bit neutral, I'm just going to buff out 
This is really creamy. This is my favorite kind of liner, a classic pencil liner that you can sharpen, can't go wrong. This is from the Dreamer collection. It's the shade Vision, which is more pinky neutral. A little bit similar to the blush. Kind of creating like a wilted rose shade. I think I'd like to put a bit more blush on now that I have that on the lips. Hmm, pretty. It's a little bit different for me, but I like it. Okay, eyes, 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 eyes. So with what's going on my lips, I think I'm gonna just toggle between these two shades at first to keep it harmonious and then, then think about using maybe one of the purpley pinky shimmers. Yeah, so I'm gonna go into Soothe first and then into Muse. Definitely ready for some romantic pinky colors these days. Just ready for spring, you know? It's uh, three months away though. I don't even know how I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Hmm, maybe this is a Valentine's look. Hmm. That's really pretty pink. It's like very delicate and like ballet-esque, but it still like maintains a bit sort of of its a bit mutedness, which is what I always like. You know what, I think I'm gonna just put it over most of the lid actually. I'm gonna smudge it on the lower lash line too. It's such a like light buildable color, so I'm not worried about using a big brush. That's so nice, I'm so feeling that. Beauty, beauty, beautiful colors here. I love that you can just really just swipe this on lightly if you like, or really build it up. Okay, now into that darker color, Muse. It's sort of like a denser brush so I can focus the pigment. Oh, this is a good combo. This is like exactly like what's going on on the lips. I didn't expect it to be so close. Just while I was setting up today, I was listening to the Witch Wave podcast by Pam Grossman. This was one of her Patreon episodes, but at one point she said something about like, this world is in need of more enchantment. And that really stuck with me, even as I was just sort of thinking about this video and some of the things I wanted to talk about. And yeah, like it's in need of a lot of things, but that's certainly one of. And makeup is so self-expressive too, you know, like it's individual. It can be used to bring out one's individual features. Self-expression is really important to me. I used to work in restaurants and I hated, I hated wearing uniforms. Like some of them just cause they were fucking ugly. Most of them because there was something about being in a uniform that made me feel like oppressed is a very strong word to use. And I don't mean to equate it with being an oppressed person, but I suppose a bit repressed. It felt being in like a uniform that everybody was in just felt like really wrong to me. I hated it. I hated it. It made me feel uncomfortable. Just going back to the lighter pink to feather it out. Bring it out a little bit. Putting this on the lower lash line as well. Wow. These pigments are like a cross between being quite pigmented and being very soft and blendable, which is a very nice balance to have. Like if I wanted to be har more harmonious with this look, I'd probably like use this champagne shimmer, but I think I'm gonna just lean into that it's still winter right now and things are still icy. We're not into spring yet. And just sort of, and use this shade Tranquil, which is, Wow, actually in the camera, it looks way different. In the camera there, it looks almost silver. 
but here it looks very lavender. So let's put it on my eyes and see what happens. I'm gonna use some glitter glue for this from NYX. Two little dots. I did that very fast. Two tiny, tiny, tiny dots. One for each eye. Put it on my finger. Put it on my lid. And then go into Tranquil. Kind of buff it into my the back of my hand first so that it doesn't have fallout. That's pretty. Yeah, pinky lavender. It's a cross between like a very romantic look with like a touch of, I don't know, like supernatural alien, something a bit unearthly, spacey, so pretty. I think I'm gonna use a bit of a darker shimmer, just like right here, and that's the shade Fantasy. Quite a bit darker, it's a multi-chrome, like a black-based multi-chrome, so just a bit on the edges. I'm just gonna kind of blend them with my fingers. This Dream State shade is like really cool. It's like a silver. I'm not gonna use it in the look today, but I wanna show you. It's like a silver, but it has like rainbow, like literal rainbow in it. Can you see that? It's like a really, really unique shade. You might have to see it in person. It's like unreal. I'm gonna have to wash my hands before I do mascara. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of the purple shimmer, the Tranquil, on the lower lash line. So using glitter glue and a little bit, and just like my pinky. Okay, this look is definitely dying for some lashes to add that contrast. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then come back and see if there's any finishing touches I wanna do here. Okay. Here we are with lashes. I always say it like that, lashes. Here we are with lashes. Here we are with lashes. Okay, shh. Here we are with the finished look. I love putting the mascara and the little wispy side lashes on because it just makes it all make sense. I have an urge to put a little bit of powder bronzer on. I don't know why, I don't know if it's gonna make a big difference, but I don't know. Something feels like it just needs that extra bit of warmth around the face. So this is Patrick Ta. She's statuesque, the powder part. Just a subtle little boopity boop 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 boop. Maybe I'm just feeling the uh, paleness of winter or something today. Because these are kind of icy, a little bit of icy rosy look. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you've tried out Unearthly Cosmetics, if anything I said resonated with you about makeup as a ritual, as something transformative. And then I'm gonna put just a little bit more of a different kind of pink on the cheeks. So this is Patrick Ta, she's that girl. Just a little bit. Did that do anything? Maybe not. I'm gonna turn the lights down like I like to do when it's a very shimmery look and just give you the full impact of this multi-chrome eyeshadow. That looks so pretty. Let's see what happens if I turn the light even lower. Yeah, you can really see the highlighter this way. And I always love putting that shimmer here because you can look up and it catches the light. I think it's very romantic, like crying beautiful tears. So yeah, the look is finished. And yeah, this is uh, my third time using Unearthly Cosmetics and I am really impressed. The shimmers, you have to see them in person, but there's something like about them like up close that reminds me of like 
a nail polish when it has like those really fine shimmery bits that, that are like usually all kinds of different colors just floating in it. Some of these sparkly shades from Unearthly really reminds me of that. I think especially in this palette here. Oh my hair. You can't tell so much in the pen, but when you swatch it and you see it on your finger, whew, something really cool happening there. Anyway, yeah, let me know also what you thought of this style of video, a little bit more casual, half tutorial, half chatty stuff. I definitely have a lot of things to say in general that are just like about makeup, about life, about witchiness. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this and subscribe if you haven't already. I am, I am trying to make a career out of this channel, to be honest. So everything helps and yeah. I really appreciate you, anybody who's watching and the support you've shown for me. Uh, a little goes a long way and yeah, it's nice to have a conversation with you. So let me know in the comments down below any of your thoughts and stay witchy, stay bitchy. Have a good week. Bye, witches.